my warm greetings to you, the beloved members and friends of the St. John the Baptist community. I have always been filled with happiness each time I've connected with you personally with these videos. As I record this one, however, I'm so sad. Sad because I must tell you of my retirement and the end of my ministry with you as the rector of this family of faith, which I cherish with my whole being. My formal letter of retirement can be found in the newsletter of which this video is a part. But, but I wanted to speak with you in a more personal way via this video to help you to better understand the reasons for my decision. My last day as your priest will be Sunday, September 22nd. Now, this decision has not come easily. Rather, it's been extremely difficult, the result of much reflection and many prayers. Do I want to leave you? Absolutely not. But do I feel that the time has come when I need to retire? Regretfully, yes. With my whole heart, I wish, I wish I was 10 years younger. For if I were with great joy and gratitude to God, I would continue to serve as your rector, if you wanted me, for another 10 years. As I share in my letter to you, I depart in order for the Holy Spirit to bless anew this terrific parish with new vision and energy, to lead you forward to new ventures and heights in ministry. I do not have an iota of doubt that St. John the Baptist has a bright and glorious future. Now, a second factor in my decision to retire is that with age, I have found my energy level not to be what it used to be. And finally, because I am 80, Rob and I would like to have more time together to travel more frequently and extensively, including extended visits with our family on Cape Cod. Now for the good news. This parish is in great hands. Bishop Brown and his assistant, the Reverend Canon Brad Hinton, will be guiding and supporting the congregation during your time of transition. More good news. There is strong and talented leadership at St. John the Baptist on the vestry, for certain, but also capable parish leaders who, I promise you, will make sure worship continues each Lord's Day, as well as, additionally, the ministries of fellowship, outreach, stewardship, care of the property, Christian education, 
parish administration, and all the programs of the church. Now I ask you, indeed I implore you, to not turn away from your church. It's more important than at any other time right now that you stay with, stick with, this awesome family of God's people. God needs you here now and in the coming months. This coming Sunday, July 21st, following Mass, the senior and junior wardens, the vestry and I, will remain here in the sanctuary to provide you the opportunity for you to ask any questions. In closing, words fail to express fully the blessings you have poured into Rob's and my life during the last 10 plus years. Constantly, you have shown us the indescribable power of love. God's love in your unbounded love for us both. We can't begin to thank you for making our time with you the happiest imaginable. You're the best. We love each of you so much. We thank God for each of you so many times. I want to close with the prayer I prayed at Wednesday's vestry meeting. Let us pray. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Come, fill our hearts with your love. Come, enlighten us with your wisdom. Come, guide us by your hand and gift us with faith's power. Bless us with your presence and peace such as the world cannot give as we pray in the Savior's name, Christ Jesus, Amen. God's love and peace be with each of you always.